so Hogwarts Legacy comes out on February 10th, and because it's so close to launch, the controversy around this game has just been exploding more so than I think most games I've seen in the last decade. Uh, but today, I'm on this account from Sam Gibbs, I am Sam Gibbs, and he posts a tweet saying, introducing... Have they streamed that wizarding game.com? Find out if anyone you follow on Twitch has streamed that new wizard game. Yes, this is very, very real. I thought it was kind of like troll bait at, at, at first, but then I went through the actual guy's replies and um, it's it's real. So first things first, I love it when people do this. Who can reply? People who this guy follows can reply mention or reply to this tweet as you can tell this has over 5,000 quote tweets so that's one of the only ways you can really bypass the whole people can't reply to you i've done that a few times but very rarely do i do that unless i'm going on through personal stuff in my life but i just love how this tweet is created to harass people who are playing a video game that's what this tool is designed for and no go figure that the person who creates something like this to harass other players and people on twitch and streaming and and streamers just to harass them because they're playing a video game do you not think that's a little extreme but oh excuse me you also don't want people replying to you and criticizing you for doing something as stupid as this now if you click this link it's going to take us to here have they streamed that game <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not going to log into my Twitch here. Absolutely not. I am not giving anybody access to my shit. It just is absolutely pathetic. This is in so embarrassing that we've even reached this point that we're making things to monitor if people have played a game so you can know which streamers support. And by all means, you can support whoever you want. But like, this is intended to harass people because once they get on that list... Then people can look at this list and then they can see, oh, this person is by default transphobic because they played a video game that I don't want to play or I think is a terrible game. It, it, this is so extreme and I oppose extremism, whether it's leftist or right. This should not be happening. And something that just went viral yesterday um this happened in the last what yeah 19 hours so we're on reddit here there's a channel called girlfriend reviews it's a really good channel they review video games and this person has been bombarded with just a massive amount of harassment and hate and look as somebody who's been on the internet for 14 years that's going to happen regardless of what you do but because of them playing this game it's been increased tenfold because people think that they're all high and mighty with their, their righteous cause about going into people's streams and like calling other people transphobic simply for playing a game. And if we really want to, if we really want to jump to this degree of logic, right, we have to really think about the other things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, because I assure you that this, these people going into Twitch streams and calling people transphobic for playing Hogwarts Legacy, right? These same people probably have a car brand. Maybe it's a Honda. Maybe it's a Ford. Maybe it's a Toyota. Maybe it's an Infinity. Maybe you should look at the car brands that you support, because these large corporations, restaurants, Chick-fil-A being a great example, there's a couple car brands. Um, if you really look into it, you can see where they have donated money to charities that oppose lgbtq plus and um even support some gay uh, anti-gay uh conversion therapy yes companies in food products too by the way you may want to um make sure what cereal you're eating that they're not f giving money to charities that may oppose what you support because uh, if you really want to extend this to its full potential we have to equally ha set the bar and you need to stop being a fucking pathetic joke of a human being and get mad and call somebody transphobic because they're playing a game that you don't like when you're eating foods or products or even companies in your household that are supporting organizations that would oppose your cause do you see what i'm saying we have to equally apply this to the extreme because if you're going to be extreme i have to be extreme i think that's only logical but let's see what they have to let's let's see what this vi twitter video is oh oops the audio's not on All right flip up and now it's like whatever i'm almost like thinking of just like either going offline or like we're i'm barely into the second combat here and every time i look at chat it's just the conversation is just like bothering me. I'll be right back. Like a, like a, like a little break or something. 
You can take a break if you oh, want. You I'll can just stop it. talking and I'll just go fight and do the combat. Y'all done did it now. Like you can hear, you can just hear it in her voice. Like okay, take a take a break. She's starting to cry. Um, and and I look, I understand. People are gonna say, well, fucking just buck up, just grow some balls. I understand that. But when like your career and your job is specifically reviewing games and having fun with video games, and then you have this extra amount of hate of people coming in and just attacking you, calling you transphobic, which is something that they're not, right? It, it is upsetting. It can be absolutely upsetting. So I understand where it's coming from. But this is my suggestion to anybody who does streaming, to anybody who does YouTube. If you have people who are coming into your chat constantly like this and are being really toxic in nature, just ban them. Don't give them attention. Ban them. Block them. If somebody makes you feel uncomfortable in your Twitch chats, YouTube chat, whatever, ban them block them move along there's a lot of these people are trying to get reactions and a, and a response out of people playing the game and it's so unnecessarily destructive and toxic that you're literally projecting people's personal beliefs and ideologies all because they're playing a video game right and as i mentioned just earlier if we really want to extend that to its fullest potential you're probably supporting some company right now in your household that is supported something that you're highly against. So let's make it make sense and let's be equal about what we're applying these types of things to. Uh, the, the the Reddit thread seems to be very supportive, though, of the streamers. People like that are harassing everybody on all plats, not just plan effort. There's a ton of people online who truly believe that playing the game equals transphobia. I've seen a lot of TikToks lately of a lot of views saying this verbatim, encouraging people to harass streamers who play it. Yeah, I've been getting this in my stuff too, on my TikTok feed, Instagram feed youtube it's it's getting really 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 bad and i just want to say if you're one of these people who goes into people's streams and calls somebody transphobic for playing a game then you're a fucking dumb fuck go fuck yourself i actually think that these types of people who go into to, to streamers and rooms and and tweet out you're transphobic if you played this game i think they're actually hurting the trans community i know quite a few different trans people uh and i know for a fact they've told me themselves hey I'm buying this game. I'm playing this game. I love Harry Potter. The world's diverse. It's what I've always wanted. It's something I'm really into. And I may not, they may not like or support JK Rowling, but at the end of the day, they like Harry Potter. They like the game. And like, what are you going to do? Are you going to tell a trans person that they're transphobic? If you have other trans people coming forward and defending this game, saying you're not transphobic to buy the game, to play the game, why are you then inserting yourself accusing other people of doing the same of being transphobic you see what i'm saying and a lot of the people i've noticed that are accusing other people of being transphobic aren't actually trans themselves why why can somebody answer me that question why is it the people who are usually not trans themselves or even part of the lgbtq why are these people those types of people the people who get more upset it's almost like when you get those super 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 white karens on those karen videos right and they go on like a spiel of like racism and they're telling somebody of a different ethnicity what they should be offended by i don't know if you've ever seen those videos but it's really really uh, humorous to me and what these people don't realize is by hyping and making this game more controversial you're actually helping it with sales it really has a reversal effect that's how this stuff works when you bring this much public negative publicity to something it's going to get more eyes on it and then you're going to get people who just want to piss off people who may be trans or the trans community and they're going to be like i'm going to buy this game simply to piss off uh people who are um liberals or conservatives or whatever political spectrum you are that's a thing that does happen and by doing this you're only making it a bigger issue and yesterday i was having a conversation with my uh, partner jane and she actually brought up she brought up a great question she said what does playing hogwarts legacy do for trans rights what does it do does it take away rights if you play this game are you losing rights if you take play this game hmm? how does playing this game help trans people i think that's a really valid question how does it hurt trans people by playing this game? Ask yourself that. Hogwarts legacy is a non-issue. And if you make it your identity to make it an issue, then you are the real problem.